Well, alright, hello all of YouTube land. Merry fucking Christmas. It's Wild Boy 5699 here. I wish I did this episode. I wish I did this game in fucking July. I could have done a Christmas in July video. But anyway, welcome back to Doki Doki Loose, guys. We're picking up where we left off in the last episode. It's fucking Christmas. We're so excited. I'm excited for I'm excited for this. I'm more excited. As long as nobody pulled pranks on me, I'm good. So we're gonna have ourselves a little gonna have a Merry Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a merry. Oh, shut the fuck up! I'm just gonna put him on the Rick, Billy, I dragged my eyes away from the anime I'm watching. You did that all by yourself. Where's mom? Right when I, right when the ball guy was about to punch with the misty. Although the insulation for uh, releases, you are telling me she's here. <gasps> merry Christmas! Hey, some, some, someone's in a good mood, huh? As we share an embrace, I physically run my fingers through her hair. Of course. Exams are finally over, and all our prisons are sorted. I get to spend time with you. Why wouldn't I be? As we take a seat myself, I offer my shoulder as a cushion with the initial drops. Sitting here with Sarah nuzzle into me and her an arm around her, feeling her warm body next to me. Oh, these past few weeks have been worth the wait. But given how amazing my present of you, you're every right to be. I wink at her and her eyes lit up my childish my childish excitement all over her features. Oh, can I try and guess? You can, but that doesn't mean I'll tell you. Gotta wait until the others are here. Uh, okay, okay. Is it a new bow? That's why they're actually something to consider, actually. But given how much the red bow suits you, I didn't want to mess with that. Besides, I don't really know if your style really. Truth be told. <laughs> I just usually would tell someone, somebody asks me what I get for Christmas, I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know what I got you. I'll be like, what'd you get me for Christmas? I don't know. <laughs> well, for future reference, I like blue. <laughs> A blue bow would go really well with your eyes. Which could make you me more even prettier. Eh, you're really sweet, don't don't you know that? I'm serious, you're you know, I don't think I ever told you this, but you're real, but you're beautiful. Uh, your eyes especially. The way your hair falls, falls over your face, the way you smile, lights up the room. How can you make my day better by just being here? Everything that I've been waiting for, waiting to say or all over the past few days is finally tumbling in my mouth. It's not like to be, it's not like for me to be romantic or anything, but I say with the words of Callum that I'm sorry to say. I don't think I've ever told you how much you mean to me. Our faces inch closer, I can feel the warm breath on my skin. The silence in the room broken my broken my body voice, which has been lower to whisper. And I know our history has been a little inconsistent, but to be honest, you're you're here now, we're here now, and that's all I care about. She looked at me with a nervous intonation with coo and coo slightly if say with this. It's a hurt moment we're about what's happened. We both lean forward. Wow, this is about to happen. Aww. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. That was gonna happen. Stop it. Who was it? Both of our eyes are when I hear 100% sure that's in pain of this point. Why now of all times, with a heavy sigh, I really pull myself away from Sierra and head to the door. Hey guys, Colton, let's get this party started, shall we? I chuckle and let her in, waving to Yuri not to give up. Come on in. Merry fucking Christmas. So this is your house. Uh, oh, I thought that was... Oh, it's a Christmas version of your reality. That's cute. So this is your house, huh? Technically, it's my parents, actually. She pulls her on her first face. Very funny. You keep it in good condition, Colton. You got four girls over my house. That's more than it can I ever have. Just like it's just how I remember it. Well, you've been here before, Yuri. Sorry, shoots. I was from raising an urgency. I have to explain myself. Yeah, Yuri and I went to Secret Santa shopping together. How to wrap our presents together. Made there envy? Got struggle with that, or was it just me being an idiot? Not to keep mother something under her breath. Ah, <laughs> no, it's not the duty. You fucking moron. Speak for yourself, guys. It was a walk in the park. Such confidence, now, Tiki. Why don't you go first, then? Ugh. As much as I like, as much as I like Natsuki, it's always darkly satisfying when she knocks down a peg or two, especially when it comes from someone as common shy as yours. Natsuki look nervously look around. Well, is everyone ready to share? Of course. Come on, Natsuki. What do you have? There's a playful spark around her lips. Okay. Anyway, I couldn't wrap it for you, but obviously, for obvious reasons, uh, she pulls out what looks like some kind of plant from her back. It's for you, Yuri. Who's my secret Santa? Is it you? Is you my secret Santa? A plant? Yeah. It's a peace lily. And I did some research that really didn't improve in air quality. Don't really know how, but that's besides the point. Anyway, I think I'll just suit you because they're surprisingly good for motion and concentration. I know you like to rely on these plants that are good helping you focus and calm you down. And they're super easy cool to take care of as well. You got this for me? Unless there's another Yuri in the room. Yeah. Why? Don't you like it? No, it's not that. I'm just, well, it's such a thoughtful gift. You're right. It'll make the perfect environment down for you. Not only it would... Help me when I write poetry. But it would also make a wonderful addition to the bedroom. Thank you so much, Natsuki. It means a lot. Just it, it's just a plant. She but it's for what it's worth. I'm glad you like it, Yuri. Merry Christmas and all that. Merry Christmas. 
Ah, there it is. The Merry Festival Spirit is so nice to see you again along so well, even after their fights and differences. Now, Siki Gift took me by surprise. I don't even know what it's about for. Yeah, she doesn't have a heart. I don't I'll give, I'll give it to you, Natsuki. You're a pretty good guest. You were raised the air pretty high. Anyway, I'll go next. This is for you, Natsuki. And she pulled out her gift, the expression the fresh of Natsuki transformed a thing to leave disguise into the genius sauce. It's a uh, spice rack. Yeah, it comes with a bunch of spices too. Anyway, I figured this could be handy given how much time you're into clear and stuff. I wasn't sure how, but spices to get, but luckily those came with the rack itself. And if I remember correctly, I think there are three are fun. Then no, five and one more. Those names should probably mean mean to you, haha. Merry Christmas. Jeez, this it looks like cost a lot. Monica dismissed her objection with a vote. Money is money. Don't worry about it. I you swallow and compose herself. Thanks, Monica. She looks at the floor. That's really nice of you. Uh good Nat. Always anyways, we're reaching back. This is for you, Monica. So I guess me and Siori are secret him. We're all about to have to get him. Oh rough well, you really did get go an extra mile. She on the rascal box to bring on the fountain pain with it. Pardon me if I misjudge. However, I know notice that you do a lot of writing, whether it's a poems or your plan. I found this pen to be beautiful and wise really well. And it comes with a bottle of ink too. Very traditional, Yuri. I guess I guess it gives you an opportunity to illustrate. You're right though, it's a very orphanage pen. She picks it up and gently rolls up her fingers. Has a nice early quality picture. Thank you, Yuri. Your timing was pretty good. I was running out of old ink for my pen. And you're most welcome, Monica. I'm glad you like it. I was tempted to go for something special. But I wasn't sure what this sort of thing instruments I figured the pen would be a safer bet. Monica loves to pin up ink and give her a test run. Writes really well, what do you think? I'm tempted to visit the shop myself at some point. Uh just shop in town. Just be mindful that not to press too hard, it gets really ink and flows too much. The last thing you wanted to get is a puddle of ink. Duly noted, uh huh. Wait, hang on. Going about the process of elimination. Sorry, do we get e did we get each other? Well, we're the only ones left, so I think we did, yeah. Yay! Do you wanna go first? Here you go. She hands me a medium sized ring that over wrapped itself. Let me guess, a book? All because I joined the literature club, huh? Oh wow, I definitely did not expect singing younger version of myself smiling up to you. I wasn't really sure what to get you. My first thought was the game, but I'm not really sure what you're into, so I thought something more cinema like This one's my, yeah, my favorite picture when we were kids. And they made a good idea. I remember this day we, oh, it's a photo book. Yeah, that's the one. I finally took, I looked finally at the photo book staring side by side with the, with the cow standing below us. And I'm probably a huge fan of Buffalo Rock Bay. The cow, crowd wasn't much shorter, but we were, we were back then. Remind, remind me never to make fun of your ability to pick up a cancer cancer. This is super thoughtful. The frame itself is lovely touch as well. Yeah, it's cute. Anyway, I just hope my gift gets stacked up to your CR. Here you go. Are these bottles? Yep, but you can see they're a color of life inside them. Hang on, let me flip through the let me flip the light so you can see what I mean. Oh, that's that's cool. It's a collecting of ooh ooh at the, as the darkness breaks through potential. Against the blackness, the red the red blue screens up the narrow plaza lot. It feels a bit strange speaking into the dark, especially when I can't see Sierra's reaction. Anyway, I got this well of reference I got it from your bottles, Paul. I can't help but notice that the bottles will bring to your happy thoughts. Each slide in these bottles are basically a happy memory, a happy thought I'll have shared with you. Obviously, I got more than four happy memories with you, but I couldn't exactly buy a hundred bottle, bottles. <laughs> anyway, this is going to sound really cheesy, but all of a sudden, I'm grateful that we're in the dark, it makes it easy to speak on mine. You're my happy thoughts, dear. I just wanted to give you something that you can keep on the mind of. Merry Christmas. I flick the light back on. Jeez, you, you need you need to get a room. Well, my room's upstairs. <laughs> ah, sorry. Had to be said. Colton, this is such a sweet present. I think it's the best gift I've ever had. Indeed, truly embossed off of this, and it was excellent choice. The first one I suggested. I'll give you credit, Colton. You can really tell you two have best friends for a while. My cheeks red, and I hear all the presents. I was hoping my present would be the So I was expecting the present to be so impressive. Ah, you guys. Anyway, now the present's sharing over. Does anyone want to play something? What do you have in mind? Oh, uh, we can play some video games that are multiplayer, and I have some board games lying around. That's uh, Monopoly, Cherry Pursuit, Scrabble, Pluto, and uh, hang on. You really live the wild life, don't you? Hey, I do suggest video games, but none of you seem interested. Exactly my point. Yuri quickly interjects. I think Cherry Pursuit could be fun. Yeah, I look at smart how you are, Yuri. Sure, we can give it a go. You're on, Yuri. Uh, I'm not really into competition. Uh, fine. The very simple question's on Mango, though. An hour, and it's very clear that the game is clearly between Yuri and Monica. Hey, look on the bright side. At least we're not playing Uno. I would. Eric, my family, I, my family gets now loses our shit when we get Uno. We get into arguments on. Uh, wish we were playing Nickelodeon Scene though. I'm fucking good at that. But clearly, nothing. Nick. Everyone's been enjoying it though, and Natsuki, although she tries to act like the whole thing is more interesting, though she's having fun. Currently, it's Yuri's turn. 
the color pink, oh, it's the entertainment category. The 90s video game character Banjo and Kuzo are two watching animals. Oh, I should know this one. Yeah, I swear we played it together when we were kids. Can you give me a hint? Sorry, you'll just have to grin and bear. Two palettes clearly missing the flavor to the hint. Well, what are the choices? A bear, a bird, a lizard, a gorilla, and a monkey. I can't remember. I might have to go with a bear and a bird. Oh, yay. I got it right. I totally knew that. If you got if you got that one wrong, we wouldn't be friends. Hey, let's see what I get. Literature. The Japanese story, the spider stab, is get the hollow spider's life. The worst of the children, but the little bottle of nails came with one of the breakfast. Nothing like an easy question, huh? I remember reading this story a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. This is really going to be bothered if I don't get it right. Uh, uh, it's B. You flip the card over. Ah! I knew it. Another point for me. Nerd. Knowledge is powerful, Natsuki. Natsuki mumbled something under her breath. Anyway, I got another geography chapter. If I get another geograph geography question, I'm going to flip. What does blue mean again? Ah, don't say it's geography. Okay, it's not geography. She rolls her eyes. It is, isn't it? Her eyebrows straight as she reads the question. What's the capital of Australia? Sydney? Sydney, Adele, or Kibera? It's Sydney. Don't most people get this one wrong? Hmm, along with Canada, most people think it's Toronto or Vancouver. God damn, I know. I go that shit. Uh, I get the feeling it's a trick question. I think it's Sydney. I've heard of Sydney and Adele. I want to pick one of those two. The hell with it. I'm going to go with Kibera. Oh, that's right. Well, that was easy. I thought it was Adele, to be honest. I thought it was Sydney. I would have picked Sydney. You and me both, Colton. <laughs> what a ne well, who's in there now, not to keep? Shut up. Hmm. Science one, huh? What was it these artery? Hang on. Why are you reading it? Why are you reading the question yourself? Aren't you supposed to read it? You're supposed to have the person left or your right supposed to read it. What did these are? Carried around on the phone now. Uh, I know this one. It's apparently certain we're rather. The character around the neck. How do you know? Because I pay attention to biology, silly. Why does anyone think I'm an idiot or something? <laughs> Prove that you're not an idiot by winning, eh? Why don't you? She got you there, Colm. Can't really just break that. A couple of hours have passed since the end of the board game. A comfortable well lazy I sit on the room, the counter where no one bothers to do much eating after a heavy meal. As the night wore in the jail of conversations, I heard a label rather than a little We're all lounging around. The story's next to me, and I figure we could all have cut up in her. I don't know if she wants to tell anyone that we're together yet. I'm trying to figure out a way to talk to her and how she sounds like things with her monica here. Both girls went to my direction and Monica Gita. Both of them get up and head over to the kitchen with me to comfort in the other. The strange change of behavior caused me to raise an eyebrow. Uh, what are you two doing? Oh, you'll find out soon. Something about a si something about the sing song of I heard this blues baby. I glance over to Nazi King, you're both holding a poker face. Well, as good as a poker face you can, ma can imagine, I guess. You, you got what's going on? Oh, he's gonna mess this. He's gonna mess this up. Nazi King, don't be so rude. Like, come on, it's gonna be so funny. What's happening? They're gonna put a fucking missile to him. I'm calling in. They're gonna put us under a missile to him. Guys, I'm just sitting right here. You're shooting me stuff in the input. I would, I wouldn't tell, I would tell you, but I've been told not to. It won't be a surprise. Can anyone drop this Illuminati stuff and tell me what's going into? Colin, can you come over here? We, uh, large waking up, walking up to see where I noticed a former some religion. It's a missile to. And I don't know what what was in the food that we just ate, but it's making me act super weird. Monica sticks for when shooting up a story. We should look up, Colin. It's a missile to. It's a fucking missile to. I would spend it I blush. Oh, oh no! Is that is that a missile toe? Oh shit! Missile toe that early and fairly certain we're not there. <laughs> it's a missile toe. Good thing Ed from Ed and Eddie's not there. <laughs> and I'm fully aware of what you meant to do under it. Sierra so shuffles over to me, and my heart starts kind of do it. He's nervous, right? He didn't look two of us earlier. You sit this, you sit this with the girl, did you? A poorly distinct look in a sincere face. I need to know. I could see this coming. What time to forget? What a time to forget how crafty you can be, sir. She's standing right in front of me, expecting to. Do you want to look? Do you want us to look away? Uh huh. Want a distance for the favor, Monica's voice. Right on the other one's really focused on the beautiful girl in front of me. Actually, no, that's a lie. The most important thing I'm focused on right now is how I'm about to, how, not how to mess it up. All those thoughts go out the window. She is finally my me. Yay! That makes me happy. <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> and at the moment, nothing else there. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. I like that. And in the moment, nothing else matters. I love that photo. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be the thumbnail. I side confidently put her lips close to my one of my hands, pieces the back of her head, while the other gently cups her face. Nothing could ever have pre prepared for me for this moment. I'm drinking her in, allows her to say she's the lips of mine, with warm, soft hand linked around the back of her neck. All the fears I had messing this up melt away as the kiss prepared. I have no clue what I'm doing for forgiveness. It's just supposed to be sorry, seem to be. I think it's safe that it's working. Eventually, we break away. Aww. Tell me how long the kiss went on for. Seconds, minutes, years. I close my eyes, stare at your own face, close my vision. There's much a tender, hot, 
<laughs> oh, that adorable giggle. Sheesh, you two. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Masagi rolls her eyes. Duh, it wasn't super obvious when Siri asked us to bring the mistletoe. No, I mean, ever since Colton joined the club, I had a gut feeling they liked each other. Childhood sweethearts, huh? That almost sounds like a trope. The way you two spoke about one another is very endearing. I'm happy for you two. Yeah, congrats and all. Just keep that mushy stuff outside the club, okay? I grant away to leave. I'll do my best. Anyway, it's getting late. I think it's time we leave these lovers to it. Don't go. I'm not serious. Juniors. Oh, of course. Thank you for hosting the party, Colton. It was really enjoyable. I just wish my mommy was here. I miss mom. She had to spend Christmas alone. Yeah, it was. Just make sure you use protection. Okay, whoa! Combat, whoa! Natsuki! <laughs> a kidding, kidding. Jeez. All that argument probably sorry and I are left alone. There was a moment of silence. Colton, what's up? She brought you a look at the way Trace was designing her face. Can I ask you something that might sound a bit weird? Oh, sure. Was it, was, was it okay for us to kiss? I mean, it wasn't the, mis the mistletoe your idea, idea yours? I know, I know, it's just my heart was telling me it's all, but my brain was telling me it's a bit of a meanie. Now, that, that's, well, that was your choice, right? So I know you can make it sudden. I just didn't want to say anything while the others were here. Sorry, it's just still something to do. Hey, that's... You didn't pull a prank on me, so I'm not mad. I'm over that fucking prank now. It's all good. I take your hand in mine and tell them between me. Look, Sierra, why are you feeling this way with the one decision? It's just like, kind of hard for me to stop believing it's worth attention. And that last thing I did was drag you down and have you to waste the time on someone like me. But at the same time, I'm trying to stay hopeful and listen to my own how much time that it was okay for a while. Well, did you enjoy the kiss? Because I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed it. She blushes. I did, yeah. You're a good kisser. Well, I've never been happier whenever the movie was on. I better steer. We both want each other, and we're both happy each other, so this is one decision, sure. I don't really know for sure. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing this person's probably not long to be happy. Of course you are. Don't worry, Sierra. We'll get through this together. Just remember that it's all close. No one's forcing us to make it. She possibly will hurt my once I just have the name her. Okay, thanks, Colton. I guess you're right. I'll try to remember that. Oh, by the way, sorry for putting you on the spot. The others were around. <laughs> oh, I bet you are. I bet you were enjoying that. Uh, it's all right. I got to kiss you, so it's made up for it. That was really nice, wasn't it? I think I enjoy kissing a lot more without three people watching. Well, they're all gone, so the, um... Without even waiting to finish your question, I kiss her again. That's how you do it, sir. That's how you do it. Uh, look, that's my man. Oh, man, something I can get used to. And the just two of us, the kiss felt a lot more personal, and it's absolutely fine by me. Merry Christmas, Tiari. With our faces inches apart, it's living up our nose with our own laughing. Pulling her clothes, be able to cheer her, feel her heart be falling by one of the faces. Whisper, thank you for everything, Colton. Merry Christmas to you, too. Another kiss! Yay! <laughs> it would be nice to think everything will punch us. Will we really be together? Perhaps the most sensitive thing and worry so much. Maybe I'll just be the best if we take some day soon. After all, there's only one way to find out. That's good. I like that. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> there's your goddamn Christmas tree, bitch. There's your goddamn Christmas tree. Merry motherfucking Christmas. Alrighty. So that's the end of the Act 3, Into the Unknown. We're ending that. We're getting ready for the new act, but we're going to end the video here. We're gonna start that after the next video. So, anyway, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.